Hi everybody, this is Lee of CJ Drill, and this is a torque wrench, but I want to show you something. I want to zoom in right here. Now what I've done is I've personalized this torque wrench with my name, and I've etched into the metal with a 9 volt battery. Now I'm going to show you how it's done, coming up next. You're going to need some common household items. Our power source is, of course, the 9-volt battery. You're going to need Q-tips, table salt, white vinegar. You're going to need alligator clips. And you're going to need a resist. In our case, we're using vinyl letters. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how this works. Now I've got a plastic cup here. I'm just gonna add a little vinegar to it. Not a whole lot, just a little. I've got my vinegar added. Now we're gonna add table salt. We're gonna add, oh, maybe a teaspoon to our vinegar. Well, that's good enough. Now I'm just gonna stir it up. Now I'm just gonna submerge these in the solution. Now what you want to do is you want to get a scrap piece of metal. In my case, I've just got a scrap piece of aluminum that I found in the shop. And you want to test it out first to make certain that you're comfortable with the process before you commit to the item that you're going to etch. Because once it's etched, that's it. You can't take it back. So just play around first on a scrap piece of metal. Now, what I have here is I just have some vinyl letters, okay, that spell out Leah. And that's what we're going to use here. Now, these vinyl letters, they're called a resist. And there are all kinds of resists. But in our case, we're using vinyl letters to prevent the metal from being etched where we don't want it, okay? So let me show you how we're going to do our test. Now, I'm using vinyl letters, but I got to tell you this, you're only limited by your own imagination. You can take sheet vinyl, cut out a design, a logo, whatever it is that you want to etch. And like I said, for demonstration purposes, we're just using vinyl letters. Okay, now we're ready to hook up to our 9-volt battery. So I'm going to take my red alligator clip that denotes positive, and I'm going to hook it up to the positive terminal right here. See, it's denoted with an X. I'm going to clip right onto it, just like that. Now I'm going to take my negative here, which is denoted by a minus, and I'm going to hook up my black like that. There we go. Now take your positive alligator clip and just clip that right to the workpiece, just like that. Now I'm taking one of the Q-tips that I had submerged in the solution and I'm clipping my negative alligator clip to it. You want to make certain that you don't get metal to metal contact. You just want to come in contact with the Q-tip and the metal. Now we're going to stay inside the lines here, all right? So what you do is you use your Q-tip just like it's a pencil. And you should hear a sizzling sound or see bubbles. Now, if you notice, there's some bubbles there. So we know that the process is working. And we're just going to move over. Now, when it starts to get dirty like this, it's time to replace it and use a new one. Okay, now I'm pretty satisfied with what we have here. It's time to just disconnect. Okay, let's just peel away and take a look at our test piece here. And we'll see what we're left with. So there we go. I'm very satisfied with our test piece. Now what I will tell you is this. If you've got a lot of etching to do, you may want to use a different power source than a 9-volt battery. You know, you can use a battery charger. That will work very well. But for just a small job like this or just one cup, a 9-volt battery is perfect. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time. 
Now there's another kind of resist that I want to show you and it's as simple as taking the vinyl letters and attaching them to the item that you want to personalize like I have here and then taking fingernail polish and you're going to completely paint over vinyl letters. Now my fingernail polish, which is my resist, it is set. Now I've just got to peel these vinyl letters out to create a stencil.